Democratic changes now in place. When a gunman opened fire on officers inside District 5 Friday, no one was injured, but it shattered their sense of security. Court documents say a bullet pierced through a clear partition coming within inches of an officer's head. After closing the public lobby for a few days, it's now back open. Since the shooting, police have made security changes here at District 5, and it begins with only allowing one person inside at a time. Once inside the double doors, I was greeted by two officers who used a metal detection wand to check for weapons. Weapons, I've got a microphone right here. Cell phone or keys that are going to go off? The door locked behind me. There's also a new body armor policy. The chief wants officers and civilian workers to wear vests. The day of the shooting, two of them were in the line of fire behind the counter. We did put out a directive in regards to that um, we encourage our officers and the front staff to wear their vests. This shooting situation harmed more than just our officers. We have civilian staff who don't deserve that type of environment in regards to their safety. The chief says these are temporary measures until they figure out a more long-term solution to better protect the men and women of MPD. And this is where we have to try to find ways where we're working with the community, but also understand that officers have a right to have the safety, especially in those type of environments, and our non-sworn civilian staff who don't carry a firearm, who's not trained in these type of situations. It's unnerving, and my heart is out to all my members. Hillary joining us live. Now we know other suburban police departments have bulletproof glass in their lobbies. Does MPD have any plans to install them? Well, Toya, we're told all options are being talked about right now. I can tell you some officers here at District 5 told me today they would certainly welcome that extra layer of protection.